Hello and good morning. I just made myself some breakfast. It's a little toast, egg, tomato, and balsamic. I'm gonna go eat that here in a minute. While I'm standing here and I've got the tripod set up, I did just wanna say hello and welcome you to this new week. And we are going to be doing an upcycle of something that I got a few videos back, but it's this palm leaf floral moo moo. And I would like to do another Moo Moo upcycle. It's my favorite one to do, honestly, I think. And that is gonna be the project of the week. So I'll show you the Moo Moo here in a second. I'm gonna obviously sit, eat, have my orange juice and coffee. I also have Pilates later. So I have my two piece on because I'm going to work out. So like from the front, I feel like I've got, you know, a decent shape to me, but it's when I turn to the side that I just feel like things kind of start to fall apart it bothers me. It really bothers me. And it's not a, a, like I'm ugly kind of thing. Sometimes I do this. Sometimes I'm, I'm not very nice to myself in my head. But for me, it's more of like, what happened? Like, how did that happen? Like, how did I let it get like this? Because I used to be so fit. I used to be really into like exercise. I used to have a six pack. Like what happened? But yeah, anyway, my battery's dying. My food's getting cold. We'll talk about this a little bit more later, but welcome to the new week. We've got an upcycle and I'll see you guys here in a minute. My eyes are so red. <sighs> Allergies are really kicking my butt. By the way, we have a new dog here. I didn't know if you guys <laughs> even knew that. Have I said that yet? This is Mia. <laughs> Look at her front teeth. Let me see them front teeth. Let me see them. So this is what I'm wearing to Pilates. I start off with a hoodie because it's cold out still. And then I have the matching set, which needs to be adjusted but that matching set it's okay to have a belly and a little bit of hip it's okay we are all freaking out like you have to be super thin in order to be happy and it's not the case uh it's just i would be completely fine if everyone else didn't freak out about it all the time all you ever hear about with women is weight weight loss weight loss journey anti-aging <laughs> i was just seeing who was it somebody on tiktok just had a whole thing about the next time somebody says anti-aging in a commercial or on a product, I'm gonna sue them. I don't wanna look at my aging and just like, oh, some curves because I'm a woman and I have hormones that I hate myself for that. I wanna love it. You're doing so good, you know? <laughs> like love yourself at this point, but I wanna be healthy. And that's always my thing. I just want to be healthy. If I'm getting older and I'm having, you know, some weight stuff happening because I'm not doing the right things to be fit and healthy, that's what I want to focus on because I want a long life. I'm going to get this stuff together and we're going to Pilates. Okay, I am here again, but I am I'm going. I'm going to this pelvic floor pilates i'm very curious uh this will be a really big indicator if i want to do this type of class again and if not i think i'm just going to start off with like one to two classes of the beginners for a little while until i'm comfortable and then maybe eventually move up to the sculpt but i'm scared she said you stand on the machines and i'm already feeling so um weak at my core like i just feel like weeble wobble but anyway, I have I have four minutes. So I should go. <laughs> I'm just, just doing this all day where I'm giving myself the last minute. I just got done. It was all about pelvic floor strength, which I feel like I've got the tools for it. And I'm sweating, so I sweat. I closed out my ring, so I definitely got a workout. I definitely want more of a workout than that. Like, I want to feel the burn. Um, so yeah, it's just... Uh, I think I would prefer to just stick to the regular workouts where it's all about like getting, oh my God, I'm in the bus only lane. Good morning. Welcome to project day. I'm actually going to begin. So I have on the Moo Moo that I upcycled last year. This one was so fun. It's it's everything. Let me just show you. I'm going to point the camera down and back up. Hopefully there's not too much echo. I'm, I'm still downstairs because of the guest dog and she can't be upstairs. So I'm doing everything down here. But this dress, this was a, a full moo moo. Um, I cut it right where the pockets cut off. Something I had considered doing, because you know me, was taking it shorter. Like what if it looked shorter? 
Do we like that? Is that kind of cute? Is it giving Selkie? Selkie is so popular. I mean, you'll see anyone wearing Selkie from celebrities, housewives. I saw a housewife of New Jersey or New York wearing a Selkie dress. You just, you see them everywhere. They're the quintessential, quintessential Bridgerton slash up to date, like this day and age way of wearing puffed sleeve baby doll style dresses that are still adorable. Not for everybody, but of course I love it. The dresses are very expensive. <laughs> anyway, you can find them on the Real Real sometimes now though. I did see one, I'm not in my size on the Real Real recently. And I was like, oh, good to know. But I feel like this kind of gives that Selkie style. I actually wouldn't even mind if the dress like came up a little higher. I don't know, something kind of like this. I'm just gonna go put the other dress on and I'll come out and we'll talk about it. Okay, so I have on the Moomoo that I wanna upcycle today. This one is really <laughs> jungle, tropical, florals, very Hawaiian. It's, it's bigger than the other one was. The other one was a little more fitted, so when I cut the crop, I was able to just let it remain a crop loosely, and then I just added, did I say loosely? <laughs> and then I just added the ruffle to it to give it a, you know, cute detail. But this one, I feel like if I left it crop, I'm not sure how that would fit or how that would look. So something I've considered was adding an elasticated part to this part so that the crop actually kind of sits a little bit more under the boob area intentionally. It's kind of like that shirt I just got. I'll have to show it to you. And then for the skirt, this is really, really, this is so much fabric on the skirt. So I think I'll have to cut them and then kind of hold it all to see how this would look best because I was tempted to do the crop and cinch it and then pull the skirt up and do a shorter version of the skirt and then the sleeves I might actually even do something with the sleeves adding elasticated sleeves so that I can make them puff instead of them looking bell so we're gonna elasticate this elasticate the sleeves and then I'm gonna actually figure out how I'm gonna do this skirt I think it might be a matter of cutting a lot of fabric off to make that work I just finished Vanderpump's season finale two, part two. This is such a juicy season. It's also kind of sad. With these reality TV shows, when it starts to get really tumultuous and as far as things that are going on, um, you know, you sit there and you're making opinions about who's right and wrong. And I really just try to have an open mind. I know a lot of people don't though. And uh, these people get a lot of hate on social media if they even say the wrong thing and it comes across wrong. It's scary <laughs> to see how the witch hunt can happen so quick if you aren't perfect in their eyes and that would be a lot of pressure. I couldn't imagine it, what like being a reality star would be like. You just get the pressure to be perfect, you know, because if not, you will get read by the viewers and people that, that watch the show. It's just been tough. This has been a tough season because so many people are hurting are you playing with the red ball? I've never seen her play with a toy. She like doesn't play with a toy. Oh, how exciting. <laughs> the way she plays is like a dancing deer. She just kind of bounces. <laughs> She's very bouncy. She's hilarious. Tina really likes her. Good girl. <laughs> you haven't. Oh, okay. Do you want me to throw it? Oh no. Oh no. Let me get it. <laughs> oh, she's so cute. I keep calling her a lossy opsy. Because we call our dog shushus, shushus, because I had a neighbor ages ago. A little sidebar story here for you guys, and I'm going to get into this, I promise. Sweet old lady who lived across from us in an apartment complex. That's back when I had Booger. Rest in peace, my senior Shih Tzu, who passed a couple years ago. And she would forget what breed he was, but she didn't want to say shit. So she would ask me, oh, what breed, little sweet old lady, what breed is he again? And I say, oh, Shih Tzu. And she go, 
Oh yeah, shishu. <laughs> shishu, it's so cute. And I would just, like my little heart would flutter every time she said it, cause she did it every time. Every time we walked outside. Oh, and tell me again, is he a, um, is he a Lhasa Apso? And I, nope, he's a Shih Tzu. Oh yes, a, a Shishu, Shishu, Shishu. She just did not want to say shit. <laughs> she thought she was cussing if she said shit. And so I cannot help it. I still to this day, this was years ago, but still to this day, whenever I talk about my dogs, it just to myself or to my husband, oh, two little shishus, just two little shishus. Not that there's a, oh no, is it on the grate? Ooh, let me get that for you. Ready? Lopsy Opsy. Oh my God, I totally forgot to tell you guys. You have been probably wondering this entire time what's on my eye. I woke up this morning to a blood vessel popped in my eye. <sighs> my allergies have been so bad, so bad this season. My throat right now is sore. It's been sore for over a week. It's awful. I just, my nose just feels dry and wet at the same time. You know what I mean? So I know it's allergies because it's, it's the moment I open a window, I start sneezing. And then I have this blood vessel thing now, which I've never had before. I've, ne I've never had one of these. So this is new to me and it freaked me out when I first looked at myself in the mirror this morning. I was like, oh my God, oh my God, what's happening? Oh no. Um, so yeah, I've just, I've never experienced one of these. I know I've heard about it. I've heard about people having them. And so it could be here for a while. This is so unfortunate. <laughs> I don't know how long it's gonna be there. I hope it just goes away, but ugh, I don't like it. So this is the one that I just recently got in the sales on Saks Fifth Avenue. See how it has a really thin elasticated base to it and the sleeves here. So I think what I'll do is just make this the pattern for the top. I mean, honestly, if you wanted to cut a muumuu and just let this be a flowy crop, that would be cute too. But I think it would look so much better if it was cinched in. So since I know that this fits really well, thank goodness I bought this. So I'm just gonna stretch this to see how far the elastic goes by putting my elastic that I have on one side. And I'm gonna stretch it to about there. Okay, so I can make it about th that big. Um, so I did have somebody ask me to share sewing tips. I can share the little ones that I know, but I took like two sewing classes and they were a very long time ago. I honestly could use more training in classes. So I wanna learn pleating better, ruffling. You can do ruffling. I actually saved a couple of videos on Instagram of somebody showing really easy ways to make ruffles. I think I'm gonna be interested in maybe taking some online sewing classes. I can just log in and do it at my leisure or just watch YouTube. YouTube is like a college. <laughs> you can go to the college of YouTube and literally learn anything. Anything you want is available on YouTube. This is why sewing on the floor backfires. <laughs> Marvin. Uh, what? <laughs> Oh my God, check out how cute the crop looks already. Look at it, look at it. I could totally wear this like to the lake on like a bathing suit underneath. This is the cutest little crop top ever. I know how to make crop tops. I can make anything a crop top. Oh, the doors have opened. <laughs> the possibilities are endless. Look at how freaking cute this top is. It is so cute. Adding the ruffle or like adding the elastic to the sleeve. I can wear it a little further down so it's not super puffed, 
or I can like pull it up a little bit higher and it makes the sleeves look a little puffier. It's gonna be so cute with a matching skirt. My goodness, I can't believe that I just did this and it came out this cute. Okay, so what if lengthwise, but if we went shorter, mm, don't love. Okay, this is even shorter. A little bit too short, honestly. Okay, this is kind of in the middle of the two, like just above the tattoo, somewhere like that. Is that cute? Do we love? I think that's pretty cute. I like. The elastic is on. What do we think? So the skirt has so much extra fabric. I did have the option of cutting it and it would look more like that, you know what I mean? Yeah, I'm still playing with uh, the style of it, but I definitely think it's a cute improvement to what it was. And then we'll figure this out if I add anything else to it to make it cuter. But yeah, I love it. Sometimes you just want to get ready really quick. This is what I do for the most part. I just wake up, I do something really quick. So yeah, that is my nine minute makeup before I go to Pilates and run some errands. I feel like sometimes my up cycles are cute and they'd be fun to sell. Um, it's hard for me to sell them because I do love them so much. Like I love that blue moo moo that i upcycled and the first one i ever did so i feel like i need to hang on to it because it's the first one i ever did and it's just so cute and then this one i'm like gosh that came out so good i just i think i'm gonna have a hard time ever selling them but i think once i have a few in my moo moo pile my moo moo collection of upcycles then i'll start to maybe consider like you know, adding some upcycles to the web shop. But, you know, honestly, that is what I should do because I feel like people would really enjoy them as well. Like to buy an upcycled Moomoo would be so fun. Okay, I am here. I still have myself tan on. So I'm just gonna be baking while I'm, oh God, is it gonna sweat? If I sweat, that's gonna just sweat the tan off. Okay, let's go in. Okay, that one was way more of an ass kicker than the first, but I really feel like I'm getting a workout. I'm just gonna stick with the beginner class for a little while until I really feel like I'm getting confident, but that just solidified to me that I need to keep doing this two days a week, at least. I just feel like it's the best way I'm gonna really feel like I'm getting results. But my whole body is shaking. Like I can't even, I was having a hard time like grabbing my shoes. <laughs> and like when I was on the machine, I was doing it again, I was like, <laughs> And I looked around and I saw a couple other people doing that too. Even like a girl who is like a size zero, like and it doesn't matter. Like the weight, you can be a zero to, you know, whatever. Si I hate talking about sizes, but like you can be a bigger girl or a smaller girl. And whether you have muscle or not doesn't matter. There was a woman in there who was probably in her like 60s and she had a little belly on her. You know, she wasn't like Mrs. Muscle, but she was smoking us. <laughs> She's smoking everyone in the room. And she was getting it on that Pilates machine. I was so impressed. Her core was so strong. I was like, I want people to say that about me in class. I want to like smoke people in class. <laughs> I'm not competitive, like at all, but I want to be good, you know, like I want to get good and I want to feel like I'm fit. I'm so sick of feeling like a flabby weakling. There's no muscle. I want muscle. Oh, at least I feel like I'm getting that workout. Anyway, I'm going to get out of here. Hair washing day is always so special, isn't it? I always think I look like the cowardly lion 
it will hopefully drop a little bit and not be so foofy, but it still looks really pretty. I'm not, it just looks too done up for me. I like it when it's just a, a simple little wave. I think I might need to get a large barrel curling iron, perhaps, like really big, like the biggest they've got. That way I can just do these big, <clears throat> Every time when I wake up in the morning because of these allergies, <coughs> my voice doesn't work. Anyway, <laughs> um, I actually am ready early and just have some makeup and gloss on. It's pretty simple makeup, nothing really crazy special, but I have a friend coming. She has been having issues trying to find a wedding makeup artist. She wanted me to come to the wedding and not do the makeup. So she's like, I don't want you to work. I just want you to come with Lyle and have fun and enjoy yourself. I told her I like to have a job. I like, I like going to things and having a job. It's just how I am. It helps with my anxiety. It helps like make me not feel like I've got to stand around and small talk, which is my least favorite thing. She was texting me like, what do you think about this makeup? She had her makeup done twice. And the first time I, I'm really honest, I'm not going to lie. I said, I, I just, there's a lot missing from this. There's, she didn't really do her lashes that well. She didn't put any false lashes on. She didn't line her lip. There's just a lot of things missing. And it turns out this girl just got out of beauty school. I totally understand she's got to start somewhere, but she was charging way more than like even I charge. I hope my friend doesn't mind that I'm saying this. I'm not going to say who she is. Um, but yeah, so this has been kind of ongoing. And then she went back and got it done again. And it still wasn't what, it still wasn't what she wanted. And finally, she was just like, I think I'd be more comfortable just having you do it because I can tell you exactly what I want. And I don't feel like I am I can do that with someone who's like, it's their job, profession, whatever. She just felt like it'd be, she'd be more comfortable saying I don't like something to me. Because we've been buddies forever. And so anyway, what's this? I know that strut. It's funny, I know his feet. I know the sound of his feet as opposed to my other dog and then our guest dog Mia who's here she's just been so lovely Mia has been so good this is the best she's ever been she's been here a few times the first few times she just didn't listen she wouldn't come back when you call her and she's a little grumpy um like in bed at night she would be like growl at us if we tried to move her and so now I don't know what happened or what switched but she is so affectionate and so attentive to attentive to us and comes in when we call her it's like a different dog not that she was ever bad before, but she's just such a good dog right now. I'm like, she feels like part of our family. She's just really fit in. I don't know what changed. Oh, I picked some flowers from the garden. This is from that big purple tree outside. And then I have a bush that's got like these lovely pink flowers on them. And then my roses. And then these are just little wildflowers that were growing in the yard. I just thought I've got the stuff to make my own bouquet instead of going to the store and buying one. So I love it. Isn't it so cute? It's just bursting with color. I wanted to show you guys my outfit. This is that dress that I recently thrifted from Megan Moe's. There, just hike it up a little bit with its own tie. I like the looks of that so much more. I'm just not a fan of that frumpy, just below the knee length. You know what I should do is cut this and hem it. Not really short but just cut it to a length that I think would be more flattering on me. I'll probably just do that because this dress is otherwise perfect, but the length on me is just awful. I love the top of it with all the uh, embroidery. It's just a really nice, cozy house dress. I'm gonna get everything ready and I'll see you guys either with her or after it's done. That went so well. We were able to get it exactly how she wanted it. My lipstick is gone. We've been talking all day. She got here at 10 a.m. It's five o'clock. We talked the whole time though, so a lot of that was just catching up. It looked so freaking good. We did a couple of different things. We did some like color swatches on her arm so she can see what colors she preferred. They're, they've lost their minds today. I put everything down in this makeup face chart just in case I second guess some of the colors and just it's all fresh on my mind. So I know exactly what primer we used. I know exactly what foundation color I used. The blush I made out of an eyeshadow mixed with a pinky blush and it was really pretty. So we're gonna do that and no highlight, matte face, she has oily skin. I'm just so pleased and she's so happy and that's all that matters to me. I just love seeing people like, I love it. But I wanted to show you guys something. I ordered something from The Real Real. I have a few things coming. Yay, two of the three came. Wonderful. A rattan basket style bag. This is so freaking cute. 
Oh my goodness, it's in great shape. Oh my gosh, this is adorable. So it's a little Kate Spade. I really like that this has black detail. I feel like this is something more my style than the like really basket baggy looking ones. I feel like this has a twist. That is gonna match so much stuff. So this is gonna be probably like my main trip purse and I'm not gonna use it until the trip. So that feels exciting. And there's this beautiful Rebecca Minkoff fanny pack that I think will look a lot more chic with outfits when we go on dog walks, but I still need my ID, my phone, my poo bags, maybe my camera even. It has all these different little zips for things. Cute, it fits great. Doesn't look very good with this particular dress, but. And I also really like that this has like the fun tassels and just a little bit more detail to it. And it's black and it's a bigger size, so that way I can fit a lot more stuff. I want to say it was like 30 bucks, 40 bucks, something like that. But it's real leather. It has these amazing details. It's Rebecca Minkoff, so it's really good quality. And um, I got it thrifting. Anyway, I need to write all this stuff down and make sure I've got it in my head. So I'll see you guys uh, maybe tomorrow. So sad. Lady is not within two feet of her. <laughs> Mia goes home tomorrow, which I'm actually really sad about. She's been such a fun third pup to have here. She's just so sweet and so cute and so well behaved and I love her. Last night there was fireworks going off and she was so scared. She like was glued to me. <laughs> I had to carry her around. She was shaking like a chihuahua. It just made my heart my heart to sink for her because she was so scared but anyway i actually only signed on to say goodbye because we all we did today was take my car into land rover to get it uh an oil change and then they're doing like a repair on it um because at a certain mileage point they, they recommend doing belts and plugs or so i don't know um, all i know is is that because we want to take my car when we go on this road trip that we just want to make sure it's like safe and top notch so we're just getting it kind of tended to I guess you would say and let me tell you when we went to Land Rover I was in vehicle heaven like the Range Rovers and all of the cars the Defenders all of those that were just all over the parking lot and they had the matte black one that just looked so sick it was such a beautiful car we were like Wow, like just walking around in total car envy. I really hope that one day I can have the car of my dreams, which would be, actually, I used to think I always wanted a white, I love having a white car. I think the white car suits me. I love the tan interior. So maybe that, but like either a newer Discovery, cause I do like my car. I love the size of it. And Range Rovers are a little bit bigger. And I do like the idea of keeping my car more compact SUV. And when you get your oil changed, they do a complimentary cleaning of the inside and out of your car, which is just like, you know, that top notch service that you would expect from Land Rover. But yeah, my car has some miles on it though. I bought it with miles because it's more affordable that way. And I don't drive a lot, honestly, other than like doing all my makeup stuff, which is one of the reasons why I wanted to upgrade to a bigger car is because I am constantly lugging my makeup kit. And pretty soon I want to get a director's chair, a mobile table, and a light, and then like a cart to carry it, and all of that stuff would never have fit in my other little car. Um, not, it would have fit, but it would have been harder to get in and out with it, and anyway, it's just so much easier with a car that's uh, SUV sized. But yeah, so they're gonna have my car for a few days, which means, shoot, I'm stuck at home. <laughs> and agoraphobic stuck at home you know that people can get to the level of phobia or disorder to where they are so anxious they can't even leave their house and i'm really grateful that mine's not to that level but it is still very much a avoidance behavior situation and if you don't get a handle on it it can get to the point where you don't leave and so i'm glad that i've caught it before because i was heading there and i'm just really glad i caught it before I could get to that point because I very easily could stay home forever. <laughs> like I very easily could stay home and never leave. Um, but it's just, uh, yeah, it's 
one of those things where you know it's just not good for you. Um, and I love, I'm really loving my Pilates. I went twice this week. I'm already signed up for next week and I'm just going to keep at it. It's the only workout I found that I love. And maybe there's something about being on a machine that's my own space and like it feels like my little safe space. And you know, if you're somebody who's going through something like I am, you kind of need to find these comforts where you can. I don't feel any anxiety there at all. And plus you're working out. So you're just, you're too busy sweating and <laughs> feeling the workout and feeling the burn. But anyway, I wanted to end this video. I'll see you guys next week. We've got some stuff to do and it'll be fun to come back. I'll see you then. Give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Bye.